Hi guys, it's Ruby, and today we are at the grand reopening of Bacchanal Buffet. They have just renovated the entire inside, added 30 new dishes, including a new seafood station. We're gonna try everything and let you know how it is. So I can talk for days about how spectacular this buffet is, but we're gonna let the food do the talking. Thank you for all coming here. Welcome to the new Bacchanal. Hi guys, okay, we're like the second people that walked into Bacchanal Buffet, it's crazy. We're gonna start immediately. I ordered a Cosmo, it's coming to the table. Let's just start eating. Okay. I'm gonna try a scallop. And I'm going to try an oyster. Little snow crab. Mm. Is that oh, calamari. calamari. Is it calamari? Guys, Mr. Ruby's favorite food ever, calamari. Let's do it. Ooh, this octopus looks amazing. I'm gonna run out of room on this plate. Okay. Let's get this one. Let's hear it for seafood. We're starting at the seafood station because it's fully renovated, brand new. This is what we need to try. Guys, full disclosure, I've never tried an oyster. I'm gonna try it. I'm a little concerned it's not gonna be delicious, but we'll see. So I'm gonna start with the salmon. Salmon with corn relish. I'm gonna have to put my culinary skills to the test to see how good this is, you guys. It's good. It's cedar plank. The seasoning on the top is really delicious. Oh, it's really fresh. I'm gonna go to the octopus. We will see how it is. I do like octopus, we'll see how it goes. Mm. Okay. That is the least chewy octopus I've ever had. And I like a chewy octopus, but the curry sauce is kind of hot. Wow. Wow. That's a wow. This was good, but that's wow. Wow. Not a big scallop girl. Never been a big scallop girl, but I want to try the scallop. It's not usually my thing, but I'm going to see how it is. Just to try. That's a good scallop, you guys. Everything tastes so fresh. No, it, that was incredibly good. Incredibly good. Okay, it is time to try some crab. I'm here for crab, ready? I love crab. And it's really, the seafood, we're in the desert and the seafood is just like so, so fresh. Like, I don't even like scallops and I'm gonna go get another one of those. Here, do you wanna, Mr. Ruby, do you wanna do the calamari test? All right, calamari is Mr. Ruby's favorite. Let's see how he likes it. It's his absolute favorite thing ever. Super good. Is it delicious? He says it's super delicious. You like it? What do you think? We need some dipping sauce. Oh, it needs dipping sauce. There's dipping sauces over there. We're gonna have to try. I feel like we need to try an oyster. Are you ready? All right, let's try an oyster, guys. I'm scared, but we're gonna try it. All right, so far, there's a good amount of water in there. It's a good sign. He's also not too clear. He's very opaque. It's another good sign. I know what to look for, I just have never had one. Put a little hot sauce on him. And I'm gonna chew him a couple times and I'm gonna give him a swallow. Ready? How you doing tonight? Mm. Can I interest you in trying the Japanese mm. Wagyu beef hot dog tonight? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, sure. How was the oyster? That's really good. Is it? Okay, I wasn't sure if you Ooh, were Oh, it's like good. It. Thank you. You're welcome, enjoy, have a good night. You Thank too, you thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, okay, are you ready? Let me try the hot dog. Wagyu hot dog, let's go. The bun looks fluffy. It manages to taste like a hot dog. I don't know if I thought it wasn't gonna taste like a hot dog, but it definitely tastes like a hot dog. Mm. The roll is like a buttered yeast roll, and you can really taste it. It's really excellent. The second area over here is gonna be American favorites, meats, and your Latin American food. Oh my God. Okay. Do you want to try the cheeseburger bao? Yeah, it looks delicious. This is like W food. 
Do you want to try chicken and waffle? I'm not a big chicken and waffle. We watch your videos all the time. What's the bucket now? I'm grabbing stuff. I grabbed some glazed pork belly. Should I try the bone marrow too? That looks really interesting. Pork belly, cheeseburger bao bun, Van Duven glazed carrots are on my plate. And then these are some twisty fries, just some french fries. So let's try everything. Okay. The carrots are really delicious. They said over a hundred of their items were vegetarian or vegan, which I found really interesting. Mmm. They're glazed, they're crispy, very delicious. Very impressed. All right, I'm gonna try the bone marrow. This will be interesting, let's see how it is. Wow. Mm. Ooh, that is so much flavor. Wow. That is like perfectly roasted. Like it comes apart so easily out of the bone. I don't know if you can see that. But like the marrow is just like falling apart. Let's try pork belly. All right, this has a little bit of grilled peach and jalapeno on the top. Pork belly is like not too salty. It's got like a little chew to it, tenderness. The peach is just lightly grilled, so it's still kind of fresh. And then the breading underneath has cinnamon. So you're getting like a grilled peaches, cinnamon with that like kind of like gamey, like thick, rich texture of the pork belly. The pork belly is a really well-balanced dish. That's like really, really even, well-balanced. That's really good. If you like pork belly, you're gonna die. Okay, let's try our little cheeseburger bow. I think Mr. Ruby might be a big fan of this one. It tastes like a Big Mac, only like elevated. An elevated Big Mac. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he likes it. Ladies and gentlemen, he likes it. Let me try the french fries just to try them. Ooh, fries are well seasoned. Delicious. Ooh. We were just poured lobster bisque. Let's give it a go. I got a little chunk of lobster in there. Mm. Oh, I really like that. Love this. Super creamy. Oh God, it's like buttery, creamy, smooth light. Everything so far has been really light. I'm not feeling bogged down or weighed down by anything. Everything is like seasoned really well without being super heavy. That's really nice. Can we get one, please? Yeah. I have Asian mozzarella, and a classic. Oh, classic, please. I love you, Okay. Carne asada, taco. Oh, they have El Pastor. They don't make the plates big enough in this place to put all my stuff in. Yeah. All right, let's try the plantain. Love plantains. Getting great spice, cinnamon, really excellent. Um, plantains are one of Mr. Ruby's favorites and he snuck a bite. What did you think? Delicious, yeah. Loved it, okay. I'm gonna try this duck quesadilla. Let's try this. I put a little avocado on there. There's radish. I'm just really impressed with the freshness, both with the seafood and the, the duck is like ungamey. There's no gaminess. We'll go a little heavier with the carnita. The Let's try the tortillas. Tortillas are the perfect level of thinness. 
not too greasy. Mm. The meat is not chewy, not fatty, only like perfect big tender bits. Let's try the al pastor. So al pastor is my favorite usually. I'm seeing some slaw here. Ooh, it's like sticky slaw. There's probably a lot of sugar. Okay. Having trouble deciding my favorite. The carnita might give everybody a run for its money because it's like really perfect pieces of meat but that duck is impressive and not being gamey whatsoever. Really, really impressed. Okay, let's try the elote. I ordered the classic elote. So it's just got the crema, cheese, chili, but they had Takis, they had hot Cheetos. You could kind of get it however you like. I love street corn. So this is absolutely a 10 out of 10, very good. Let's try the citrus slaw. I haven't had anything really like. They had pozole as well. I may go back for pozole, we'll see, but I really wanted to try all the tacos. But let's try the citrus slaw. Ooh, it smells kind of hot. There's heat in here, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Kick from the pepper, cilantro. You have some mandarins, so there's a little bit of fruit. Onion. In the furthest stations, you're gonna find Italian, you'll find your meats and cheese boards, fresh rolls, and then you're gonna have Japanese like your sushi and some Asian dishes also in the back corner. I love sushi. Beet hummus, falafel hummus, some fresh pita, and then we have my sushis. Salmon nigiri, tuna nigiri, California roll, spicy tuna, some chili garlic edamame. All right, Let's start with the hummus. Got fresh pita, we're gonna do the beet. Lemony, mmm, wow, killer. Citrus, lemon, earthy. The pita is really, really seasoned and delicious. All right, let's try the falafel. It's the first one that's not my favorite. It's um, not fried as fried as I'm accustomed to. So it's like a little drier than I usually like my falafel. Usually it's real crispy on the outside and kind of soft and squishy on the inside. But that one's not my favorite. The beet one. The beet one's delicious. Let's do some sushi. We're at my favorite part. I'm gonna start with a little ginger to clean my palate. Salmon nigiri, let's go. I'm a really bad judge when it comes to sushi because it's my favorite food. I'll eat it out of the grocery store to be totally honest. This is absolutely delicious, as is all the sushi that I eat. So I'm a very bad judge of character on that, but I will say I find it delicious. Let's try the brisket, please. The brisket? Yes. How are you, man? Thank you. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay. 
ham, bacon, American Wagyu, and smoked brisket. I'm gonna try the brisket, that's my fave. Smoky. Mmm. Really smoky. Wow. And don't forget, right back there is the dessert station. It's its own station, and you have gelato and all the incredible delicious goodies that taste as good as they look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. On a great day. <laughs> Okay, tons of sugar-free, gluten-free options for people that are like packaged for safety away from the other items. That's really nice. Oh my gosh. The roasted banana looks like Yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying. I thought it was taro or something. Okay, I got a wide variety of dessert. <laughs> my favorites were pot de creme, so I really wanted to try. Creme brulee is another big favorite of mine. I was very interested in this sponge because it's just a classic almond sponge with apricot. I'm happy to see that. Dessert cones, that's all they titled this, so I'm really eager to see what that is. Strawberry shortcake is a favorite of Mr. Ruby's. The caramel popcorn cupcake. And sorbet, they had gelato of like every flavor. She's like, I will scoop you every single flavor if you want and you can try them all, but we settled on blood orange and raspberry, so let's get going. This cake is criminal. If you ever had frangipan or like a frangipan tort, that like layer in the middle is just like this almondy layer, and they've like clearly layered the cake, brushed it down with that almond. It is like moist, light, airy, incredible. Incredible. That is so good. Let's do the creme brulee. We have to try the crack test. Okay. Not a ton of crack on it. It's very hard to make creme brulee last a long time because the sugar that caramelizes will eventually soak up the moisture and not be hard anymore so it can't sit out. That's the problem with creme brulee. But let's see how it tastes. It's really light. I can see the vanilla beans but it's not as vanilla-y as I would like. I usually like my creme brulee to be a little thicker. This one's real Airy. It's probably so you can eat all the other desserts. Okay, pot de creme. Another really classic dessert. Chocolate mousse. See, so, ooh, looks good so far. Real moussey, airy. That is very good. Wow. Skip the creme brulee, get the pot de creme. Wow. Moussey, airy, chocolatey. Mr. Ruby is gonna die. He's gonna die. Ready? I have to try that. Ooh, it's so soft. Ooh, it's like a sponge. It's really soft on the inside. Oh, wow. It's an angel food. Mm. That one is an angel food with a really, really light whip topping. It's a really light dessert. The theme of Bacchanal to me seems to be light so that you can eat a lot. <laughs> and we definitely did. Hey guys, time for my final thoughts on Bacchanal. It's $65 a person. If you want a drink ticket, it's gonna cost $12. You're going to have the choice of beer, wine, sangria, or you can get a Cosmopolitan that had Tito's vodka that I thought was actually a really good deal. However, there are so many good non-alcoholic options on the buffet like horchata and non-alcoholic sangria that I would maybe skip the drink ticket. However, food-wise, I think $65 was fair as far as the massive quantity of food we just ate. It was incredible. Some of the standouts, obviously, all of the seafood was incredibly fresh, incredibly delicious. Nothing tasted fishy. It was all just absolutely excellent. The red beet hummus was a real standout for us. It was fresh, it had tahini. it just was a great flavor. And the Mexican food, like the elote and the pastor tacos, those just had such great flavor. Skippable, I would say, would probably be some of the sushi. I just think when it comes to like sushi at a buffet, it's never gonna be as amazing as sushi at an actual restaurant. Other than that though, 
there were pretty much no misses, just mainly hits. Everything was just very incredible. The food, the theme for the food was very much light and airy, delicious. I think it's totally worth coming. The line is still out the door. I think if you can get in a Bacchanal, you are going to enjoy your food.